Welcome to Life Words Day by Day. In the Gospel of John, chapter 19, it says this in verse 28. After this, Jesus, knowing that all was now finished, said, in order to fulfill Scripture, I thirst. A jar full of sour wine stood there, so they put a sponge full of the sour wine on a hyssop branch and held it to his mouth. When Jesus had received the sour wine, he said, It is finished. And he bowed his head and gave up his spirit. We must see that in these three verses, the idea of finished or completion is used three different times. All the work that God the Father has set out for the Son to do, all the words were drawing to a close. And so he says, I thirst. In another psalm of desperation, David cries out, Psalm 69, verse 21, For my thirst they gave me sour wine to drink. So don't overlook this. Jesus has said that he must drink the cup that the Father has given him. It is the cup of God's wrath, foaming wine. And here Jesus is saying, I have done so, and it is finished. And don't overlook the detail of how the wine was delivered to Jesus. It was on a hyssop branch. Hyssop was a sponge-like plant that was used to sprinkle blood on people or offerings. It was even used to paint the Passover lamb's blood on the doorpost. In Psalm 51, 7, David prays, Purge me with hyssop, and I shall be clean. Wash me, and I shall be whiter than snow. Lots of ideas and thoughts have been given as to the symbolism of hyssop, but one thing we know for sure is that it is used in the symbolic rituals of cleansing from sin particularly in the application of the lamb's blood over the doorpost during Passover. And here we have the picture of our cleansing coming because of Jesus' suffering. And it is enough. If it were not enough, Jesus would not have said, it is finished. Everything a person needs for total forgiveness and cleansing is accomplished in the life and death of Jesus Christ. It is finished. In the words of Psalm 22, verse 31, he has done it. Today when you pray, please pray for Larry and Tammy Wood, our missionaries in the Ukraine. And also remember the Dong Mei Life Word broadcast that's heard in Ghana.